ChatGPT just got a huge update. It's now possible to talk with PDFs and to use all the tools together. So in this video, I want to show you how to get access to this and some interesting examples of how you can use all of these tools together. My name is Dara. Let us dive straight in. So how do you get access to this new update? Well, firstly, you need to make sure that you have the paid plan for ChatGPT. You can just upgrade. It's $20 a month. You also need to make sure that you've enabled beta features. So click into beta features and make sure that those are toggled green. Now to actually get this new update, you'll see a notification like this when you open ChatGPT and they just seem to be rolling this out to different people at different times. But I think that I got access to this early because I've been trying out all of the features uh, in ChatGPT and I actually made a one hour tutorial recently going through all of the different features. So if you want to get access and early access to these new features, I recommend you familiarize yourself with all of those. I'll put the link to this tutorial in the description so you can try it out. Now let's dive in and look at some specific examples. Let's get started with the biggest update, which is chat with PDF. Now you could actually do this previously. You could go to the plugin store and you could select AI PDF, which was one of the most popular plugins for ChatGPT. Now the problem with this is you had to paste in the public URL of the PDF so that you could chat with it, or you had to upload the PDF to the AI PDF website so that you could then interact with it. Now all of those steps have been eliminated. So you can just go to the default section in ChatGPT. You'll see the option to upload or you can just drop in a PDF just like this. So I've dropped in a book which is The Great Gatsby. This is a public domain book so we've no problem chatting with this, no copyright issues. And what we can do then is chat with the PDF. So let's start by asking for a quick summary. I'll ask for a hundred word summary of this book. You can see that it's searching the file, opening it up and really understanding what's inside. And here you can see that we've got a hundred word summary now of the book. Now you can not only do this for books, it could be for, for financial reports, user manuals, uh, really any PDF document, scientific papers, anything like that. Now, as well as summaries, we can do a lot of other things as well. So for example, I'll ask it to write a short essay on the use of symbolism in this book. And here you can see that we have a list of all of the, the symbols in the book and an explanation of them. So we can generate new content based on the original PDF. Now, as well as summarizing a PDF and creating new content from it, we can also search for specific terms within the PDF. So I'll ask it what pages were the green light, one of the symbols mentioned on. And so here now I have the exact pages that this phrase is mentioned on and I can go look at that further if I want to. So with PDFs we can summarize them, we can create new content and we can search for specific phrases. But you'll notice here that in this chat you can see the all tools which means that we can use other tools in combination with this PDF. So let's try out something really cool. I'm going to ask it to create a book cover for this book and now it will use DALI 3 to actually create an image based on the PDF that we've uploaded. Let's take a look at the book covers that were generated right from the text of the PDF. So this looks incredible. This looks like a book that I would pick up. Now you can see that there are some misspellings in the title and also in the author name. But I think this is a great way to perhaps just generate ideas based on the PDF or text. This could be ideal for ebooks or any book that you're writing. I asked for another example down here. And you can see again that these are some great concepts that perhaps you could send to a personal designer. That's just an example of how you can use upload PDF with DALI 3 to create images based on the text. Now let's look at how you can combine ChatGPT Vision and DALI 3. So I'm going to paste in an image here and then ask it to make an image like this. But I'm going to say that the dog is running. So we have a picture of a dog that's sitting. 
and ChatGPT Vision is going to understand what that image is. And then DALI 3 can create an image based on my reference image that I have uploaded. Here's our happy dog. You can see that it understands, interestingly, that it's a golden retriever uh, running outdoors with a natural background. The dog is captured in motions, showcasing its energy and joy. Some of these comments are hilarious. Now, if you open it up again, you can copy the prompt and you could always paste that prompt back in and ask for variations of the image. Just change that prompt slightly. Let's look at another example of this and this time we'll drop in our image and I'll ask it to make an image like this but as a Pixar character. This type of prompt was extremely popular with other image generation tools like Midjourney. So let's see how DALI 3 does. I think this image looks fantastic and it is very close to the original. Even the pose of the character is the same. Maybe I could have asked for a bit of a fun background, but this could be a great way to create new characters um, for animated videos or things like that. I think this is very, very interesting. Personally, I love DALI 3 because it's such a simple interface. I never really liked Midjourney that much because you had to go to Discord slash forward slash image prompt. Here inside of ChatGPT, it's just so much easier and uh, intuitive to actually create these types of images. So those are a couple of examples of, of combining ChatGPT Vision and DALI 3. Now I want to show you one more example of combining different tools in the same chat. So what we're going to do is combine Browse with Bing and DALI 3. So I've asked it to browse with Bing and look up the top global news story from today and write it in a sort of newspaper style with the headline. But then I've also asked it to generate an image based on the headline. So this is where the DALI 3 comes in. And it's finished browsing and here we have our top global news stories. They're listed out here and also we can see a generated image that visualizes the headline US launches diplomatic station in Arctic Norway. So I think this is incredible also if you were creating any, some sort of newsletter you could actually gather up all the headlines using Browse with Bing and then generate some images to go with that in DALI 3. That wraps up this video. You can now chat with PDFs and use multiple tools in the same chat. So like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe for more videos and comment below with how you are using these new tools together. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.